Hey, we're going to do some sizzling sizzig today. Um, what we've got here, some chicken liver, uh, about 600 grams of pork cheeks, and a few other bits and pieces. We've got some pickled uh, peppers, some Italian peppers, uh, some ginger, onions, lemons, eggs, garlic, and some dried ch uh, chili flakes. Um, what we need to do first is take the pork and we've been boiling that in some bay leaves with salt and pepper. So let's get started. Okay, our pot's now boiling away, so we'll drop our pork in. Be careful, by the way. Just get him in there, make sure he's all covered. And what we'll do is we'll leave him in there for about 40 to 45 minutes. Okay. Pork's now been um, boiled, it's been left to cool down as well, boiled it for 45 minutes, dried it off with a bit of paper towel, and now we're preparing the rest of the ingredients. Over here we've got our chicken livers, we've got two finely chopped um, onions, white onions, we've got two tablespoons of soy sauce, one garlic clove finely grated uh, one tablespoon of garlic powder and pepper powder two finger chilies finely chopped this is a finger chili we don't know what one is uh, we've got one thumb size of ginger finely grated as well and pretty much that's our main ingredients that we're going to be doing for this uh, meal for, for this evening Okay, um, we're going to slice the pork up ready for the grilling, so here we go. Uh, first thing is, don't dice it right up, because uh, all you're looking for is to slice it for about the thickness of your finger, because there, it makes it easier for grilling, but also it's easier to handle. So you're looking for this, this sort of thickness. doesn't want to be any bigger than that, um, ideal for cooking. Oh, I should have stopped now. Okay, so we're going to start grilling our pork. Now, the one thing with this is, we, the reason we use the cheeks is for the right consistency of meat to fat ratio. Um, but also with an electric grill, you don't really need to put any oil on there because of the fatty content acting in the pork meat itself. So, just get all our meat on. Okay, now it's brown on one side, we're going to flick them all over. It took about five minutes on the other side. Just be aware it does spit a fair bit. Okay, so pork's pretty much there. We're going to dry it out a bit and let it cool down before we decide to chop him up in a little bit. I just got a bit of paper towel and uh, what we use is a pizza tray just to get rid of some of the fat. Okay, we're going to cut the pork into cubes quite quickly. Just run the knife down it one way. Then once you get to the end, just grab a hold of it and spin it round. Doesn't always want to do it, but it's going to happen. doesn't have to be anything fancy, quite simply because once it's all mixed together, it's a taste test that matters. I hate it. Once you've finished chopping all the pork up, uh, get yourself half a lemon and give it a good squeeze. 
getting all the as much juice as you can into the meat. Don't worry about it where it's going because it will all be mixed up later. But just get as much lemon in there as you can. Okay. Okay, we'll add a knob of butter. And what we're going to do is saute the onions. And we'll just leave it there to soften for five minutes. Okay, now we're going to add the garlic and ginger. Get them all in there. Give them a bit of stir in. Now we're going to add our four chicken inners, or sorry, livers. <laughs> Give them a bit of a stir in. And mash them in with everything else. The aroma starts to come through as everything mixes together. Okay, now our liver's finally chopped up and mashed up. It's time to add the pork. Now we've got all our pork in. Let's grab the soy sauce. And it goes. And then mix it all up. Okay, now we're mixing that up. We'll get the garlic powder and pepper in there. And those are peppers. And keep mixing it all up. Have a taste. See if it's to your taste buds desires. If it's not, just add a bit more soy sauce or maybe you want a bit of extra salt. Um, ours tastes fine, I enjoy that. But now we're going to add the mayonnaise. Just give it two lines. Make sure you've got, you got it in the bottom of the bottle. One down and one up. And that's plenty for there. Okay. Now mix it all in. It'll help bond everything together. We'll get it this bit done and then we're going to be ready for the eggs. Now we've got it to the flavour we want, and it's been cooking for about five minutes now. Whoop. We're going to add the eggs. Uh, try not to drop them on the counter. Whoop. Dropping it didn't do me any favours, but managed to get in there without too much yolk. And we'll add the other one, this time without dropping it. And that's pretty much ready for up to five people. Okay, that's it. pretty much ready to eat. Um, we're actually eating on, on the actual grill, so we'll just knock the electric off and take it away. But if you're having a few people over, it's worth doing this on some sizzling hot plates to take it straight to the table. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.